In response to my video about what alien life might look like, GegW30 says, We can never know how biochemical reactions can work in different places. Other planets are far more different than two ecosystems on Earth. Plus, they don't even need to be carbon-based given the lone number of organic elements. This is a good point. It's true that all the ideas I discussed are just our best guesses at what conditions are most likely to give rise to the phenomenon that we know as life. It's entirely possible that, should extraterrestrial life exist, it could be completely different to anything we can imagine, maybe even to the point where we have the wrong idea about what life actually is. But that creates a circular argument. If our definition of life is entirely limited to and based on the things that we see on Earth, then that is necessarily all that our definition of life could include. So I suppose what David Catling is trying to do in his very short introduction is to imagine the conditions under which what we recognise as a living being could be given rise to. It's true, alien life wouldn't need to be carbon-based, but as I addressed in the video published just before the video on which GW30 is commenting, life would have to be based on an element with a valency of four, of which carbon is the lightest, most reactive, and most abundant. Yes, other planets are far more different to each other than two ecosystems on Earth are, but planets on which what we recognise as life could arise would probably have to be comparatively quite similar to Earth, at least in terms of rough chemical composition. Finally, I'm sorry but I have to point out that we do know how chemical reactions work in different places, and how they would be affected by differences in temperature, gravitational field strength, and surrounding density. Also, there's no such thing as an organic element. Now, I can't claim to be a biologist, and in fact, the most advanced book I've read on biology is Catling Astrobiology VSI. Please don't trust any of what I'm saying without thinking critically and, if you like, reading my source.